parents of God's children. Isn't it? So sometimes we have to go back and check our friendship list and see. Help those who are weak, forgetting in nothing his blessings to see. So God wants us to develop holiness because without one, without which we cannot see God. So when you speak oft with the Lord, very often in prayer, then you are on the way for the holiness. In stanza two, the result of holiness in our lives is that our friends should see Christ's likeness in us. That's right. That's the most important thing, isn't it? It says we should spend much time in secret with Jesus alone because he is our perfect example. And your friends will see the conduct that you have and they glorify God. Amen. I don't know going to sing this song, God. I'm going to skip to stanza three. Stanza three. Another result of holiness in our lives is that we let Jesus Christ be our guide and run. And not run before him, but follow him. It's a difficult thing, isn't it? That Jesus Christ said, follow me. Follow me, he said, isn't it? We, what we try to do in our life, especially in our day and age, we are short of time, isn't it? So we want to run before and we want God, Jesus to follow us. But we have to follow Jesus Christ. Stanza 4 tells us, take time to be holy. Be calm in the soul. Each thought and each motive beneath his control. As led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt soon be fitted for service above. You know, some of the books omitted this stanza of four because lack of space or whatever it is. But I'm glad our church in the included stanza four because in stanza four we realize that God wants Christians to be holy. And the only way you can be holy is not only following everything what we read, but to be calm in your soul. To be calm in your soul. When you are calm in your soul, you know that who is in control? Us. We get disturbed doing good, doing bad. I mean, I'm not doing, I'm saying we do bad, but when bad comes, we are disturbed. Even sometimes we, we are disturbed even with goodness. But if you trust in the Lord, and know that God is going to take us through this 2030. We don't have to worry about anything. This morning when I came here, I could not see, when I tried to come up to pray, I could not see everybody clear. And I sat there and looked into my glasses, and then I saw there was some dust there. So I went into the back and tried to wash it. It didn't go. Then I went downstairs, put some soap and washed it. And then I realized, when I came back and wore it, it's clean and clean. Some of the things that are happening in our life, the death, the sickness, loss of job, loss of friends, all these things, we might think that God is not in this with us, isn't it? God is not with us. But I want us to realize that we will see clearly we go to heaven. Amen. Now we see in what? Not here. Very nice. But God is going to show us. You know, before we sing this song, I just want to show this challenge, throw this challenge to our church here. Whatever your resolution is this morning, do you want to trust in the Lord? Even if you have not made a resolution, do you want to trust in the Lord and walk with Him through this 2030? If you want to do that, will you please stand? And let's concentrate our prayer this morning by the use of hymn number 500. Hymn number 500. Take time to be holy. Speak of to thy Lord. Abide in him always. <coughs> Downstairs, we want to 